Let's talk about how you can add media to a digital interactive notebook page. So if you look at my notes page, you will notice that there are two videos here. I can click play. Hey, we're going to be talking about rhetorical appeals today. And the video is going to start playing. So these are videos that I actually had saved in my Google Drive that are me going over the notes for rhetorical appeals. Here's another example. Hey, so now that you know the three different types of rhetorical appeals, ethos, pathos, and logos, let's do some practice and see if you can identify them kind of in the wild. So, and this one is going to walk them through some examples. So these would both be examples of media that you could insert onto your notes pages. Now you will notice they are not actually on the page because this is the page. So like if I was in present mode, you can't see them, right? But they will be there on the side panels for students to see. It's actually super easy to add media to your pages. So let me show you how to do that. You're just going to go to the page that you want to add stuff to. Then you're going to go to insert. And then we were talking about video, so let's do a video. So I'm going to click video. And then you have a couple options. So you can search for something on YouTube. So let's say since we're talking about rhetorical appeals, let's say I wanted to insert this video. So I just typed in the search bar. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click select. It's going to think about it, and then boom, there it is. And you can even set a specific start time or end time. Um, if, for instance, like let's, this video is 4 minutes and 20 seconds, so maybe they only need the first minute of the video. I could actually set it so that it starts here and ends there or whatever. Um, you also can say that you want to mute the audio. You have a lot of options there. You also have size options and things like that. I just mostly will use this to drag it to be bigger or smaller. And remember, you can drag it to be off the screen, which means technically when my students were done with these, they could just delete them. Another type of way that you can insert videos is by URL. If you already have the URL for a video that you want to use, and also you can connect through your Google Drive. So for instance, I have a video right here. In my Google Drive that I may want to insert, I'm just going to click it and click select. And then I can have the exact same options I did with my um, YouTube videos. And this is great for like how I use them here. This is like lecture. This is like examples. And this video is actually me explaining directions on how to do a specific assignment in Canvas. That could be nice if the work that you're having the kids do in the notebook is complicated. You could actually give them step-by-step -step directions on a video. I don't actually need these, so I'm going to delete them. But that's how you can insert videos. Another type of media that you may want to insert is I'm having kids insert pictures. So, um, for this type of notes, so I can go up here to insert and then I can go to image. And then again, you have a bunch of options. You can do your Google drive, your Google photos, URL, you could use the camera, you could search the web, which is really easy, or you can upload when you already have saved on your computer. So like my kids are going to need to find an ad for pathos. So they can type in pathos ad. I don't know if any of these actually work. I'm just going to pick one. And then hit insert. And there you go. Now I have inserted an image. Right? And you can size it. You can also add borders and things around it just like you can regular images. You can also do that with your videos. You can add borders to make them stand out. Lots of options. Another thing, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but you can go to insert. You see how it says audio? You can um, save an audio. 
of you maybe reading the text or reading directions and then insert that for students to play as well which would mean you don't necessarily need the video you just need the audio so you can do any of these options relatively easy on here I love the idea of having the videos embedded um, as you can see for this note they have to go to YouTube and find a commercial that has an example of pathos. That's another way that you could use um, media in your digital interactive notebook. Think about things that you wouldn't normally be able to put in a notebook. For instance, I like to use these speeches in class for them to practice identifying persuasive language techniques. Normally we would watch the video in class or I would give them the video on Canvas. Um, but this way I'm able to just directly put the video in here. They can watch it, type their notes, and it's all in one place. Now these videos are on the actual page. So if I hit present, these videos will actually come up. And I just can't when I do them off the screen. So you just learned how to add media like videos or images to your digital interactive notebook.